Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what is your shadow work, your shadow side for Leo uh, for June 2022? You can apply this to any of your placements, even your notes. Um, so for those of you guys that don't know what your shadow work is, your shadow side, basically it's a part of, um, you know, getting in touch with that part of ourselves that we repress. So this is like our dark side. We all have it. Okay. So we're going to see what that is for you, uh, Leo. Uh, and then uh, we will see uh, what else you need to know and how you can uh, best manage it. Okay. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message did resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, what else? Oh, keep in mind, these are collective messages for the collective um, Leo people. So not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. Also, a quick note that these messages are not really meant to be cross-watched, flipped, twisted, or reversed. Uh, this is more so for Leo, uh, for their uh, personal growth and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? So we're going to start with some oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot, okay? Uh, so um, Leo, what do we have here for Leo regarding their shadow work, their shadow side here for June 2022? Tell me about Leo and their shadow work and their shadow side for June 2022. Okay, we have holistic health. And then we have forgiveness. So this is telling me that someone's heart space is blocked. Okay. Someone's heart space is blocked. Someone here has has had a lot of trauma here. Um, could be a situation that you're already working on this. You're already working on healing this or that, you know, you guys haven't done so yet. So just apply this to your own unique situation. I, I feel like someone here has a very hard time really communicate, you know, some of the past traumas and pain that they've been through. So a lot of the energies, if that's the case, you know, a lot of the energies that's lodged in your physiology, you know, what doesn't get moved, you know, things are not going to change. It's just going to stay stagnant, the same here. So the energy that you're feeling or that you're experiencing here, Leo, it could be very, 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 very heavy. Okay. Um, so a lot of you guys might be, you know, some of you guys might be turning to hol holistic, um, you know, healing uh, to uh, address, you know, these blocked chakras that you have. I'm feeling like someone's chakras are all blocked. All of them are blocked. So apply this to your own unique situation, okay? What else do we have here for Leo regarding their um, shadow work, their shadow side here for June 2022? You know, forgiveness here. It could be energy that someone here is also holding a grudge and not letting things go. Yeah. We have material harvest here. More red. So someone's chakra is complete, heart, root chakra is completely blocked off. Yeah, we have more red here. So this is telling me that someone here has gone through a lot of trauma as a child. Someone here could have been abused. Someone here could have grown up in a very violent household. Uh, could have grown up in a household where there was a lack of money or a lack of food. Uh, so I feel like someone here was in survival mode a lot, okay? Uh, could be a situation, you know, that you have gotten yourself out of this situation, okay? Uh, so I feel like a lot of you guys might be really, uh, like, a lot of you guys are self-made or that you guys are really successful in your money and your career. Um, so let's see what else we have here. But I feel like there are some triggers here. The light is always within me. So I feel like you're trying to find that beacon of light within yourself. So a lot of you guys are, are doing this self-work on yourself right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys are in this energy of, you know, sometimes we have to experience the darkness in order to see the light. I mean, we have to target the darkness. We have to heal that dark side of ourselves in order to, for us to experience happiness and bliss. Get a better understanding of that dark side. Awakening inspired action. There is only what life is asking of me. So doing the best you can here. Anchoring the light. Let's see what else we have here. We're going to pull some tarot. Uh, what else do we have here for Leo regarding their shadow work and their shadow side for June 2022? 
What else does Leo, what does Leo need to know regarding their shadow work and their shadow side for June 2022? What else do you, we have here for Leo regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Seems like you're trying to surround yourself with like-minded people. Trying to surround yourself with positive people. Yeah, there's a cycle definitely that's closing out for you, I feel. I feel like you've done a lot of hard work on yourself here. Okay, I do feel like you've reached like a goal for yourself. Which is to find inner love, self-love for yourself here. Wow. This is looking pretty good. So I feel like this is the energy that you overcame a lot of this trauma that you've been through. Because we have the star here, the nine of cups. I mean, this is healing. This is hope. This is happiness here. This is bliss. Okay. A lot of you guys might be uh, connecting to your guides and your ancestors here too. Perhaps to the divine, yeah. Maybe you're receiving a lot of that bliss and happiness from the spirits around you and from the divine here. Tell me about this uh, page of pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the devil, three of cups. We have the ace of wands here. I feel like this is an energy that you're releasing here. Yeah, I feel like the forgiveness part, I feel like that's something that you're trying to release too. That's something that you're trying to do. Be more forgiving uh, for, um, you know, those people that weren't able to, you know, provide you the safety that you were looking for. And perhaps forgiving yourself. Yeah, forgiving yourself. Because maybe there's an energy where someone here felt like they weren't good enough. And maybe that's why um, that's the hand that uh, you were dealt. But I feel like, you know, you were dealt with that hand and you really sort of turned you sort of uh, turned it around yeah so we have the ace of wands here yeah i just feel like you know right now i feel like you're in, in this energy of you know no one is gonna put out your light or that you know the past is not gonna you know put out your light here because we have the ace of wands right there tell me about the world why is the world here why is the world here we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Tell me about the star. Seems like you're making peace with yourself here, I feel. Yeah, there's an energy of definitely moving forward, okay? Um, so I feel like there is some huge achieves, achievements, milestones that you've gone through here. We have the Four of Swords. It's, yeah, it just seems like you're making peace with yourself. You're making peace with others here, too. Uh, two of Swords and a star. Uh, nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is something that you're working really, really, really hard on. I feel like that Two of Swords should be in the in the reverse because I feel like this is something that you're deciding for yourself. Okay, I feel like this is something that that you're really committed to and really disciplined about. What else do we have here for Leo regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? What else does Leo need to know? What else does Leo need to know regarding their shadow work and their shadow side for June 2022? What else does Leo need to know regarding their shadow work and their shadow side for June 2022 here? Okay, we have the Page of Wands and the Strength card. Uh, we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Swords. Uh, and then we have the sun, Leo energy, and the wheel of fortune. Boy, things are really changing for you, uh, Leo, in a very good and positive way. So a lot, it, so with the pages here, page of wands and the uh, strength card, I feel like a lot of you guys have healed or that you guys are consistently working on healing that inner child and tending to that inner child here. Because I do feel like there was some sort of a, 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 a abuse here. Um, I'm also getting that a lot of you guys uh, at some point turn to drugs here, but I also feel like you guys have addressed that issue here too. Drugs, drinking, okay? We have the Two of Cups here and the Six of Swords. Seems like you guys are having like a better relationship with yourself here. A lot of you guys might be moving away from toxic relationships too, okay? So we have the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. 
I feel like you're creating like really good karma for yourself. You know, I feel like a lot of the karma that you've experienced in the past here, even like generational and ancestral karma, that a lot of that's being cleared out. So I, I feel like you guys are doing extremely hard work, which is really great, um, Leo. Tell me about the Page of Wands here and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Um, the Strength card, we have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like there's an energy of surrendering and releasing control here. Uh, perhaps releasing uh, gr grudges. Yeah, perhaps releasing grudges here. Because uh, we have forgiveness here. Yeah. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Okay, we have the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. Wow, look at you. And then we have the Magician here. So you're in this energy of man uh, master manifesting here. So, you know, I feel like you basically have what it takes or that you you basically have what it takes to overcome a lot of the stuff that you've been through or that you've overcame it uh the empress libra taurus energy the magician gemini virgo energy tell me about the sun here why is the sun here we have the full aries energy also aquarius energy and the wheel of fortune and the seven of cups here you know, I'm getting like sort of like the world is your oyster. I feel like you're really excited about, you know, just getting yourself out there, enjoying yourself and being you. Yeah, being you. Because I feel like for a long time, you feel like you couldn't be you because you were so confused. But like I said, I feel like you're, you're charting a new destiny for yourself. Uh, you're not letting the past define you. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to create some good karma for yourself by doing good things for you and other people around you so what you put out there is going to come back to you uh, so if you put out great energy out there you know great energy will come back towards you if you put out negative energy negative energy will come back towards you you're definitely going through like a huge transformation here i mean this is really beautiful uh leo okay so uh leo uh Vir virgo energy pre-empress energy right there so leo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys